Welcome all air water signs to your chakra reading. This is a collective energy reading, so I hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. This is for Gemini, Cancer, Libra, Scorpio, and Aqua Pisces. Welcome, Cuspies. Okay, getting straight into this. Welcome all water signs to your chakra reading. This is a collective energy reading. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. This is for Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Welcome, welcome. Okay, friends, let's see what's going on with you. First card coming out is the solar plexus over here talking about what it, your intention is. Talking about this abundance. This abundance over here is, <clears throat> I'm talking about the gold representing the power. So you see the gold in the chest over here is representing that power that you have within yourself to make this come true, right? The yellow is the solar plexus. So that is the intention, right? Um, this is located just above the belly button, about six inches above the belly button, right? And this is where we get that power, right? We like, ooh, that's it, right? Okay. And this is, the gold is representing the power of the mind to choose. One choice may be wise and the other may be foolish. Choosing well may involve temporary sacrifice in order to gain your desire. Remember that you can always make new choices if it's not going right, right? So sometimes, you know, trying to get to the abundance of what we want takes us on a long journey. And the long journey sometimes is stressful, right? Things are thrown into our way before we get to where we want to be. So the abundance over here is to think about your relationship with money. Are you the wise person or the foolhardy person? Money is naturally attracted towards appreciation and gratitude. Be wary of using your financial situation as an excuse to avoid doing something. Are your thoughts and actions around money empowering or disempowering you? And abundance doesn't always have to be money. I might even, it's abundance is whatever you want, right? It's just the card is really talking about money um, and its own rights. Right, but just remember, it's whatever abundance you feel is abundance. It could be abundance of love, abundance of money, you know, whatever you choose, right, as your abundance. It could even be abundance of health. Are we making healthy choices to get to the place we need to be healthy? So, for instance, if you know you're trying to lose weight, but you keep eating that donut, is that going to help you get to your abundance? Probably not, right? Or if you're trying to gain weight, right? Is eating that salad or not eating it all going to help you get to where you need to be, right? Everybody's story is a little different depending on where you are. But we have to look at what are the choices that we're making? Are they foolhardy? You know, are you are you putting your left foot out instead of your good right foot out, right? So abundance through gratitude, releasing regret, being good with money. Also, remember to trust. Trust. Wisdom. Trust in the situation that, that, you know what, that you are going where you need to be going. I think trusting in the situation is a lot for a lot of people. Having the faith. Having the trust. Trusting that the universe is putting you where you need to be. A lot of it could be impatience. I see the man over here. He's kind of like worried about the situation. That's not trust. That's worried. Right? That's worrying about the situation. Worry brings no trust, brings no faith, right? It brings us nothing but sorrow, heartache, confusion, anxiety, sleepless nights. So we don't want to do that. We also want to trust on our journey, especially when you know that you're on the right path, my friends. When you know you're on the right path, you really have to give that to the universe and let it flow, let it go. Right? You're saying, you know what, I do do what I'm supposed to be doing. I don't do this and I don't do that. And it's, it might be all about the trust in the situation. right? Flexibility. Being more flexible within the situation. There it is, that trust. Letting it flow. Being flexible on what you're doing. Flexible in the mind. Are you being flexible? Are you taking the steps and the leaps forward that are necessary? Are you holding back in areas where you shouldn't be holding back? Be flexible to yourself. Allow yourself to have the ending for the new beginning. It's a nine. Take that, how that resonates, right? And that's bringing in that beautiful desire of the sacral chakra. 
thing. This is where I want to have the desire. This is the desire that I have for the intention of the solar plexus, allowing the two to come together. I'm, I'm down here on the mat and I'm also up here on the wall. You can see the wall up here. They're right next to each other. Having the desire brings in the intention. Do you have the flexibility, the desire, right, to really bring in what it is you need? And, of course, the sacral chakra is located six inches below the belly button. So those two, yeah, definitely going to connect, right? So for this overall success, that's what it's saying. Do you have the flexibility in letting go of things that no longer serve you for the ending to have the abundance that you so need, so desire, so want, putting in all your intentions, all your hard work, everything that you do to have the success? I know that there is no greater goal than to love bringing in the now, bringing in the heart chakra, which is definitely a, six inches above the solar plexus, getting that rolling. Do I love myself enough to trust, have faith, have compassion towards myself to allow these things, have flexibility where flexibility is needed, grounding myself where I need to be grounded. Do I have the thoughts, the needs, the overall wants? Is it good for me? You're asking yourself that too. Right? Is it good for me? Most people don't usually ask for things that are not good for them though, right? Usually when we really have a good intention, we know it's good for us, right? Being the panda, create a sacred place and space for yourself in your home and other place of work. This is where you're going to really take on kind of a making space, okay? So we could say making space for the new intention. Meaning like if you're already in a relationship and you want to want a relationship with someone else, is there space for that other person? You have to release the other person before you can make the space for the new person, right? So making space, making room within your heart, this is all about the heart chakra, really grounding yourself. See the white over here for the purity of the love of the, you know, of what it is you truly want and really compassionate about. It's also saying that, you know what, it might be time for introspective. It might be time to go within, right? Really look at what it is you truly want looking at how you truly are going to be flexible for the situation. It would be the hermit card, right? Getting to kind of the P's and Q's to the situation of how I'm going to do this. Seeing if you really do have the space available within your heart for this situation. It's kind of like if you, were, if you have a two-car garage and you already have two cars, you can't put a third car in the garage. But if you really want that car in the garage, you're going to have to get rid of a different car. You see what I'm saying? You either have to get rid of the car or figure out which car is going to go outside of the garage if you want to put the new car in the garage because you don't want it ruined. But you know you're not going to squeeze that third car into the two-car garage. You have to make room for the new car. Financial material changes are on the way. Five change. Let's see the change, too. So it's almost like the spirit is saying it's already on its way. You have success. It's under the success. It's on its way. It's just like in delay. Because of flexibility. So you do have the financial material changes on the way. The chariot is on its way. You just need to create the space of how you're going to do it. How is it going to come in? Because it's like, it's kind of like, guys, you know how I see this is like, here comes the chariot, and the chariot is like hovering over your head. It wants to give you this abundance. It's ready to open up this chest. It's like this chest is ready to fall in your lap. It's just that there's something, some kind of flexibility, some kind of space that you're not, you won't have. As soon as you get rid of that, it's gonna fall right into your lap. It's just hovering. I literally see it in my mind. It's it's right there. It's ready to drop. 
You just have to change something, a way of thinking, um, space, room. Trust and understanding that it is right there, ready to drop in your lap. Something. It, it literally, I see it. It's right there. It's all about the timing of when it's going to fall. When is it going to fall into my lap? Of course, everybody's falling in lap is going to be a little different, right? Because you're each, each person is different. One's going to say, I'm going to work on it right now. And then one will say, okay, let me think about this. It's all about how you delay it, how you think. So clarifying on the flexibility and the success, we know it's right there, guys. If I don't, if I, if I get a chariot card, yeah, because you have a homecoming right here. If some of you are waiting for this twin flame to kind of like, you know what, we've been talking, we've been doing this, we've been doing that, and I'm waiting for this celebration. I'm waiting for the homecoming. It's like my soul is so ready. I'm ready for this harmony, but maybe you have to get a divorce. Maybe they need to get a divorce. Maybe they need to get rid of the other person, third party situation. You have this great love. You have the harmony and the love. You have the relationship. You have the deep love for the situation, no matter what it is, whatever the abundance is, whether it's this is twin flame relationship right here. Some of you are definitely waiting for this twin flame to say, you know what? There it is, the chariot at the bottom of the deck. Move in. They're ready. You have an emperor coming. Holy shit. You've been manifesting each other. <clears throat> and, and it will actually change your financial and material changes as well, having this person. So you guys could like put your money together. If you know that they're very successful, the material might be moving homes, moving house. The finances might be, you know, this person has money or I have money or we can put our money together. Maybe they're a great entrepreneur. However, Jiminy, but you have the desire for the creation. You've been creating this a long time. Your, you know, your chakras are saying it's here. It's moving. I knew it. I said it. It's right there. It's like it's getting ready to fall into your lap. That person, that business, that whatever it is you're looking for is sitting right there, right? It's just about all about planning. Yeah, look at that long time, uh, excuse me, long-term views going on over here. You planted the seeds. It was hard work to get the sustainable results from this situation. You're just waiting. The investments that you put in are there. You just have to be flexible. There's something that is there that is just, you know, it's just... It's like it's blooming. You're just waiting for it to ripen, to fall off the bush. Look, they're all bloomed. The success is bloomed. You're just waiting them to ripen and fall off. Fall off the bush already. Tell me it's ripe. Tell me it's ready to eat, right? You don't want to eat a, you know, a hard apple. The apple is red, but it's not, it's not ready to eat, guys. It's, you know. Still hard. Reminds me of plums more than anything. Only for the fact that everybody knows that plums are always like, you know, always look delicious, but then you always have to wait for the perfect timing. And it's almost like, you know what? And they don't really change a whole lot of colors until they really get super duper purple, right? But they always look ready to eat. But if you pull it off, it's hard, right? So you don't, you see what I'm saying? It's like, it's, it's still hard. It's, it's almost ready to eat. A weird analogy, but that's what I seen. So, however, apples, plums, you know, fruits of life, <laughs> the fruits of life, because the fruits of, and it really is the fruits of life, though, guys, because you've been putting in the fruits of labor, right, ready for this stuff to happen. Your intuition is going to tell you exactly what you need to know. I think a lot of you already know. You're already sitting in the knowing with your crown chakra. You're saying, my third eye's already told me that you know I'm clear about this situation. I think a lot of you know this is going to happen. You're just waiting for it, that to fall into your lap. And you know how I am about falling in your lap, but this isn't one of those things that you didn't put hard work into. You know, I tell you guys all the time, it ain't going to just fall through the, the roof into your lap, you know? But that's not what this case is. This case says, I've dug trenches. I've gone through the mountains. I've climbed this. I've done that. I've put in the investment and the hard work. 
to get to where I am. So now you're just ready for that chest to fall into your lap, right? Waiting for the blessing. Because you've done the hard work. Absolutely. But see, once again, it says trust in yourself. Trust. And I kept hearing that true. There has to be a lot of trust. Loyalty, faithfulness, trust to yourself and to what you want. This could be a past life person coming through. Some kind of deep soulmate. Like I said, twin flame coming through from the past. But however it is, this is something that's going to make you happy. This is something that has, you know, that gives you kind of this like innocence and this joy when it comes through. This financial material change is going to make you feel so childlike. You're going to feel giggly. Yeah, how about that? I haven't felt giggly in a while. I feel giddy and giggly like a schoolgirl or like a schoolboy. Or a teenager. You see what I'm saying? Like, I haven't had this kind of happiness in a while. This is what I've been waiting for. Right? And it definitely will. Because it's going to give you these feelings of, like, finally, finally I get to get what I want. You could have been doing a lot of reminiscing. You know, there could have been a lot of daydreaming. A lot of reminiscing through this. Knowing exactly what you want. This could be a childhood friend that's coming through that you haven't seen in a long time, that you knew you guys were perfect for each other, and now the time has come. You guys are both at the same spiritual sense. Because when a twin flame comes back around or a very deep, you know, relationship of a soulmate comes back, that means you guys are on the, both the same spiritual path. So there could be something very spiritual that you guys have learned together. You guys have grown the same. Absolutely. But right now, it just says right now, you know, I'm waiting for this Ace of Wands. I'm holding tight to the Ace of Wands. It's the only thing I have right now. But I still have these Eight of Wands behind me that are keeping me, right, and testing my faith. Right? But I'm per persistent on getting to what I am. I'm resilient. I'm trusting with all the faith, but they keep testing my faith because it just won't come through. So you're getting weary. Don't give up. Don't give up. You know, don't give up. You keep holding on because he's really holding on to the Ace of Wands. And you will get the Ace of Wands. That's that fresh new start. That's where you want to be. You know that that Ace of Wands is yours. You just have to get rid of the eight behind you. Absolutely. Self-limiting beliefs. Yeah. Something in your head. Because look at that. Keep the faith. Keep the trust. Keep calm. Heal yourself from this situation. Right? There's a fortunate good omen coming towards you. All your wishes, all your dreams, and all your abundance is sitting right above your lap. Wow. Like I said, it's hovering right over you. I can literally can see it hovering right above you with the Ace of Cups. Wow. Right? Like I said, the Ace of Cups. Whatever this is, it's spiritually meant for you. It's a gift from the universe. You deserve this. If you deserve this, don't hold yourself back from something you deserve. Have the faith and the trust that, you know what, the universe gave that to me. So if the universe is going to give it to me, I'm going to take it. Sometimes it seems like it's with the with the star card, though, I think. The star card, sometimes it makes it feel like it's too good to be true. You know, and I was listening to somebody the other day on a tarot reading, guys. They said if it feels like it's too good to be true, then it probably is. But you know what? I've come to the conclusion that that's, that's deception. I'm going to tell you why. Because anytime we have aces of cups, the good Lord wants to make sure that we are getting things that feel like it's too good to be true. That's the point. That's the whole point of the whole situation. You deserve this karmically. You're a good person. This is what your fate, your destiny is. So don't, I'm sorry, guys. Look at that. You even have the ten of pentacles. B.S. I'm, I'm calling that one out. And I did watch that the other day. They said, if it feels like it's too good to be true, then, you know, or a fairy tale, then it probably is. You're in an illusion. Do not allow that to hold you back. Because you know what? Things like that is what keeps us in, makes us feel crazy. Those are the things that make you confused. No. If the good Lord wants to give you something that feels like a freaking fairy tale, he'll give you something that feels like a fairy tale. What do you think people who win the lottery feel like? Oh, what, they're going to wake up and say, oh, this lottery ticket, it's too good to be true. There is no way in freaking hell 
that I won this lottery. Ah, what, are they going to wrap it up and throw it in the trash? No, that's a fairy tale. They won that lottery because the Lord wanted them to. That was a gift from the universe. And it was a fairy tale. Think about it, guys. If you win the lottery, that's a fucking fairy tale. That's like too good to be true. How the hell did that happen to me? No. They didn't just wrap it up and say, oh, it's all lies. Throw it away. No, they embraced it. They said, oh, my God, I won the lottery. And I'm not telling you guys you're winning the lottery, but I'm telling you right now, if you get the Ace of Cups with the Ten of Pentacles, it's going to feel like you won the lottery. Especially with the Star card, because the Star card is telling you it makes you feel like you're a star. A star is born. Something amazing is coming in. Something that makes you feel like you're in a fantasy. Something that makes you feel like, oh my gosh, but remember, this is for the faith and the purpose. This is a good omen. This is fortunate from the universe. It's just as good as the wheel of fortune. Right? Think about it. It is. You don't have to have the wheel of fortune to feel like you're happy or that you're on top of the world or like you've got something wonderful. You get the star card. You get the sun card. You get the ten of pentacles. You get the ace of cups. You get a fresh new start with the fool. Oh my God, and under that you get the ten of cups. Oh my gosh, and public recognition with the six. Run after it, my friends. Run after it. Right? It's slow moving. It's slow moving, but that's okay because most of the things that from the universe are slow moving. That's why a lot of our times we get inside of our head because we come, become impatient. Because we can feel something's coming at us. We feel something's there. Right? But we don't see it coming towards us. So then we start getting in our head. We start becoming the, ace, the eight of swords. So it's saying no more eight of swords. Self-limiting beliefs is what's holding us back. That's the only reason that this hasn't fallen in your lap. Please don't ever listen to that. Just because it feels like it's some kind of facade, it's some kind of illusion, does not mean that that's true and there's the will of fortune. Bam. Thank you. With cooperation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So raise your courage. Raise your self-belief. You are worthy. If you weren't worthy, then it wouldn't be there. Everybody's worthy of something. You manifested it. You brought it together. And even if it feels like, you know, I didn't even really manifest this. I don't even know where it came. Maybe they manifested it. Right? I don't know where they came from. I didn't manifest them. Okay, well, then they manifested them. They manifested you. They called out to the universe and their soul found your soul. And there it is. Right? And if it's nothing like that and you know it's just money, you know what? They said it was your big break. It's your time. Take it how it resonates. Till next time, my friends. Peace and love. Bye-bye.